about to leave Beaufort and head out the Cape Fear or Moorhead City Inlet. No, not Cape Fear. Sorry. Cape Lookout or Moorhead City Inlet and we are heading for Jacksonville so it should take us like three days maybe a little bit less and hopefully everything goes smoothly. Hopefully we can find our new fly our new used spinnaker which happens to be very colorful. The dinghy is loaded. I don't know if we got on video, I don't think we did. We were going up the coast off of Jersey, we kind of put a big huge split in our big huge normal spinnaker that we got on eBay for $400. So we taped that up and repaired it. I don't know how good of a job we did, I don't know, because it was kind of a big split for a big spinnaker. But we also just found a new one for like, what, $200 at a marine consignment shop? Yeah, much, much smaller one, but it, it would be good for a cruising spinnaker, because it's a little bit thicker, much smaller, so like, it'd be a good spinnaker to leave up at night if it was supposed to be light And it's night. bright and colorful, but yeah, wish us luck. It's still cold, it's supposed to be getting warmer, what's happening? Now, to Florida. Sunset. The new sail matches your life jacket, Jenny. It's so much smaller than our other one. Yeah. <laughs> Our little spinnaker just wasn't cutting it. The wind is getting lighter and lighter. We actually have a little puff right now. We threw up the big boy. Girl. The big girl. You guys see our repair job right there? It's holding up so far. How you doing? She's sandy. This is the definition, knock on wood, of the perfect sailor weather. I know, it's amazing right now. It's calm seas, light wind, probably 10 knots of wind, straight on our stern. So we're just sailing dead downwind with the big spinnaker pulling us along. And we picked up our speed. We're doing like five to six knots. Before we were only doing like three knots with the little spinnaker, even with the mainsail up. And they kept getting shadowed behind the mainsail. So our goal, did you tell them our goal? I think yesterday, but I don't remember. Our goal is Jacksonville or maybe St. Augustine, and we should be there by at least Tuesday morning. So if we average five knots, we'll get there, we'll get to Jacksonville Tuesday morning. And if we're ahead of schedule, we'll go a little bit more south to St. Augustine. This is like the first really good weather day 
in probably a while around here. So when we were leaving Beaufort Inlet, there are a bunch of other sailboats around us leaving as well. One guy is sailing and he's way behind us now. These people look like they're just doing a little motor sailing. So they're passing us and then we had like two other boats pass us. You think those are our friends in that we met in a... Uh... No, because they were going to just jump to Wrightsville. He just walked right behind you and right next to Jody. Maybe you can stay, you don't have to go. just went down so we took the big spinnaker down we don't really want to leave that up at night just I'm not really afraid of any squalls or heavy winds or anything because the weather's pretty stable there's not supposed to be any squalls or storms but the biggest thing is just managing it at night like there's a chance it could collapse and the, the foot of it will fall in the water it's it's big spinnaker and just something we don't want to have at night where we can't see if we could fall yeah, it's just a pain in the butt. We don't have, usually they have like, you can get like a big sock for the spinnaker so it'll collapse the whole sail and there won't be any wind in it. And then you can deal with it that way, but we don't have a sock so it's kind of tough to manage and take down and even put up, so. So we took it down and we're just motoring now because the wind is super light anyway. And it's calm and it's so nice. Hopefully if, Hopefully if the wind picks up a little bit, we can throw the Genoa out and maybe even turn off the motors or at least one motor. So we're just trying to keep our speed up a little bit. Sierra's making some dinner right now. What are you making? Seaweed ramen noodles. <laughs> We're going to start our watch shifts here probably right after dinner. One of us will start sleeping and the other will watch. We do three hours on, three hours off, all through the night into the morning until we're kind of caught back up on our sleep. Probably should practice it all day long, but as long as we plan ahead, we're fine with that. Making sure someone's, someone's watching. Do you want first shift or second shift? First shift. First night watch shift. Probably starting at like eight. Oh, my God. oh that guy's huge. They're everywhere. You'll be our good luck, Jelly Bean.
finally wearing shorts for the first time in like, how long, Sierra? Two months. Two months? Feels so good, we're finally in warm, warm weather. Kind of off the coast of Charleston, maybe like 30, 40 miles off the coast of Charleston. Yeah, last night was great. Well, last night was pretty calm, we, but we had to motor all night, no wind. So we had both motors on all night. And this morning we were able to shut one down and motor sail a bit, and keep our speed up. And then uh, early afternoon, we were able to put both sails up and turn both motors off. So we're cruising under full sail. Wind's right at our quarter and we're averaging like six knots. It's so funny, we go down the five knots, just like every lull, we go down the five. As soon as we get a little breeze, we shoot right back up to like six and a half. We just put out some fishing lines, so hopefully we can catch something. I randomly just put them out because I looked at the depth, we're in like 130 feet of water. We generally put them out anything over like 100 feet for a blue water fish. So hopefully we're close enough to the Gulf Stream to get some mahi-mahi or tuna or something like that. But um, as soon as I put them out, we passed some huge patches of sargassum grass, the, the seaweed out here that, that clumps together in big patches. And a lot of times there's fish that live under there. So we didn't get any on that pass of, of the patches that we saw, but hopefully it's a sign of more to come. Sierra is enjoying the warmth. I'm soaking up the much missed and needed sun. Say hi, Jay. Jetty still hasn't gone to the bathroom. She usually goes after, well, she's been getting better and better going earlier and earlier. It was like 30 hours, then 24 hours, and last time we were out, she went after what, like 15 hours? But she hasn't gone yet. It's been over 24 hours, so hopefully she goes soon. For those of you guys who have been following along, you know, but we tried everything to get Jay to go bathroom on the boat. Fake turf, real grass, right? Dude, we tried real grass. Real grass, fake turf, um, fake fake turf with other dogs urine on it already. We tried sand. Tried sand, tried like seaweed, didn't you try a little seaweed one time that she had peed on? But none of that worked. When she finally went, she went up to the trampoline and went on there. Um, and she's done it well. Yeah, and she, she's done it a few times, so hopefully she goes soon. We just keep bringing her up there and praising. When she does go, we make sure we praise her a lot, and she gets a treat, and she knows she did a good job, but this trip's not going so quick. It's a little bit bumpier than it was yesterday, but not bad, right? Still pretty comfortable. We have, like, 210 miles left to go, maybe like between 40 and 48 hours. Should be arriving not tomorrow morning, but the next morning. Is it a tuna? I hope so. It better not be a bonita. <laughs> tuna would be nice. Ready, set, smile! Uh. Come here, you can talk to you if you really wish. Put your paws in the air. Hey guys, we are stopping by to tell you that we're doing a really cool giveaway. We're gonna do the 12 days leading up to Christmas and every day we're gonna give away something really cool. So should we list off everything we're giving away? Yeah, we're gonna tell you. But let me tell you that we picked all of these companies because we know the people or we know the brands. They have really good stories behind them. And we use everything. Yeah, that... we've used it, we've seen it, we... We've seen them make it, so. So this stuff is gonna be announced on our YouTube videos, but also on Instagram and our Facebook page. So make sure you follow our Instagram and Facebooks just so you're up to date, because we're gonna do different giveaways on different platforms. Our Instagram name will pop up on the screen right here and you can see them, right? You can do that? Sure. Ra Elements, Benny and Jack, so Jenny's cool nautical like leash and collar, low tide shark tooth necklace. Our own Tula shop merch. Like a whole bunch of different cool stuff. MG Surfline, she makes the uh, bikinis that I wear that are made out of recycled plastic bottles. You can win a bikini. Mantis is giving us a, a sweet stainless steel dinghy anchor, as well as a headlamp and a couple other things too, a snap-on light and, and a 50% off coupon. My cousin does some really amazing artwork, so she donated a reef-inspired painting to give away. Waterless, so those cool leggings that I wear, these ones <laughs> that look like a whale shark 
tiger shark not only the leggings but they also just came out with these really cool tops matching tops they're donating a whole set whale shark or tiger shark you can pick hoist away sail bag so this is a company that they're actually working on our old sails to turn them into different products and they're they're not done yet but she's donating a messenger bag so a really cool bag made out of old retired sails and two coffee cups her sails are really cool because they actually came off of old boats and in this inside of each bag it tells you what the story behind the boat like where it came from where it sailed and yeah, Very what it was cool. used for. Yeah. Yeah, so messenger bag and two mugs from her with cool nautical terms on it. Yeah. Our good friend Jeff, awesome surfer, awesome photographer, and he donated one of his very special um, HD metal prints. It's a half underwater turtle with the Jupiter lighthouse in the back. New wave kiteboarding, that's a school I used to teach kiteboarding at right up here in Stewart, and Jeremy agreed to donate uh, a whole semi-private lesson to somebody, so a free kiteboard lesson. So which... if you've been wanting to learn how to kiteboard, now's your chance. And our grand prize, you know our inflatable paddleboard, he's gonna give you a free one, so you can have your very own brand spanking new inflatable paddleboard. Flying fish. Board co. Board yeah. Co. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for all these giveaways. Like I said, follow us on Instagram and Facebook as well as paying attention to our YouTube videos and we'll let you know how we can enter each one. Oh yeah, YouTube has a new feature called YouTube Stories and in your feed, especially when you're on a mobile device, you can go through and see little short clips that we kind of post up there. We're gonna keep you up to date in those stories as well. So if you can find stories, check them out also. We'll keep to our normal schedule Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday of these videos. Thanks so much you guys, we'll see you later.